Steve, you're a physicist, you believe in God, and you see the universe as leading to God. Many physicists and cosmologists that I know, friends of mine, perhaps mutual friends, uh, would see the opposite. They'd see the more we've learned about cosmology, the less we need God. What are your arguments for God? Well, there, there are a number of them. Um, I think some people have a misconception that cosmology uh, can replace God, the cosmological theories. So they would say, well, I, the universe had maybe had no beginning, or if it did have a beginning, uh, physics can explain that beginning through ideas such as the quantum creation of universes from nothing. Uh, I think they're off on the wrong track. Uh, the argument for God is not that the universe had a beginning, it's that the universe has existence. And I think the, it's very important to distinguish between the beginning of something and the source of its existence. And I would use the analogy of, of a symphony. A symphony, the beginning of the symphony is just the first notes. The origin of the symphony, the source of its being, is the composer, the creative mind of the composer. And so for someone to, you wouldn't explain why Schubert's Fifth Symphony exists by pointing to its first notes. That would be silly. Uh, and it's also silly to explain why there's a universe by pointing to the details of the Big Bang or some cosmological theory of how the universe started. It's the mere fact that the universe exists at all, mm. that it's real, uh, that points to the fact there must be a source of reality, there must be a source of being, there must be a God. Well, uh, the, the, you've made some leaps there. Uh, right. Certainly to explain existence, I would agree, is, is critical. So the first uh, assumption that you, ma you make is that uh, it is impossible to have an infinite regress. You can't have something causing cause something all, all the way back. Oh, you could. There's nothing wrong with that. But even if you had a symphony with no beginning and no end, even if you had a symphony that went in a circle, like the song that never ends, uh, it still needs a composer. Uh, the traditional Christian view and Jewish view of creation is not that God sort of did something at the beginning. It doesn't really have to do that much with the beginning in the temporal sense. It has to do with the fact that the universe is not a fictitious or hypothetical or possible world, but a real world. Mm -hmm. God is the, a source of reality. Mm -hmm. He's not somebody who tinkered around at some beginning. So how do you then distinguish between um, uh, an ultimate reality or a, nece a, 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 a necessary reality after all these contingencies that would be a God as you defined it, or the universe itself being some sort of a, a reality? What, what, what's the difference in the ultimate sense between a God and the universe, each, each one is this ultimate necessary reality. Right. It's, Even if not necessary in a logical sense, necessary in a factual sense. Right. One, everybody has to have some absolute, as somebody once pointed, to, uh, pointed out to me. For religious people, that absolute, that ultimate reality is God. Uh, for the atheist, the ultimate reality is the physical universe. Um, the, trouble, the difference, however, is the physical universe is the kind of thing that uh, doesn't have to be the way it is. It doesn't have to exist. It doesn't have to have all the particular features sure. that we see. It doesn't, ha doesn't have to have me in it. It doesn't have to have you. It doesn't have to have this chair. There's a lot that's contingent about this universe. It could have been otherwise. Well, and then that raises, so that, uh, saying the universe is sort of the ultimate reality is strange because it doesn't seem somehow uh, self-explanatory. It's very contingent. Uh, God, in the traditional view, is a necessary being, can't be otherwise than he is. You have to choose. Do I want the universe to be the ultimate reality or God? They're both logically possible. I happen to think that God is a worse uh, yeah. reasonable. And, and, and to take the universe on that argument, it wouldn't be the universe as we know it today, which is very contingent. It would be some sort of meta laws I would think they would be deeper than quantum physics laws as today. It has to be some sort of integration with general relativity. Whatever it is, what, whatever the ultimate meta, most fundamental, the deepest bedrock of, of physical laws would be that are the generative powers of, of, of uh, quantum mechanics. I mean, right. to make the fair analogy, that's what you would have to, to, to go to. Right. Uh, but the question, but there are an infinite number of possible laws. 
that could be the laws of some possible universe. In fact, in my business, in my field, what we'd spend our time doing is inventing possible <laughs> laws of physics of possible universes and hoping that one of the ones we invent actually describes this universe, that we're lucky enough yeah. that we find the ones described this universe. Uh, so th there are infinite number of conceivable sets of laws of physics, and this universe happens to have some particular laws, and that raises the question of why these laws, why not some other laws? Uh, again, one could take it as a brute fact. Don't ask why. These are the laws. Take them or leave them. The theist says, well, there are laws because there's a lawgiver, and uh, the lawgiver framed these laws, and perhaps he had something in mind when he framed these particular laws rather than some other laws. I, I, uh, uh, the tr classic argument, which I accept, is that if there is a law, there's a lawgiver. There's a source of law. Let's look at the uh, beginning of the universe and all the new theories uh, of, uh, of, of how the universe began, inflation theory, uh, internal chaotic inflation theory, right. all these different uh, uh, ideas that uh, remarkably have different co coherence, some, some uh, observational um, support for them. Right. Uh, some theists would look to that as giving additional uh, um, uh, corroboration that the uh, that there was the creation ex nihilo from nothing right. that 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 the, the the current understanding of the Big Bang theory inflation theory supports that. Do you agree with that? Well, uh, I don't actually. I, I to be honest, I don't think cosmology and particular cosmological theories uh, have that much relevance to theology of the question of whether there's a creator. Uh, uh, again, as I, as I said, the, 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 question, the question that creation, the idea of a creator is meant to answer is simply why the universe is real, not the details of how it began. Um, just like the reason I believe that somebody, I, I believe somebody composed uh, Schubert's Fifth Symphony, mucking around with the particular arrangements of notes at the beginning uh, is not really that relevant. So whether the universe began with um, a quantum fluctuation, which I think is a beautiful and plausible idea, uh, whether there's uh, chaotic inflation, whether there's eternal inflation, all these things, very interesting. It tells us a lot about the universe, tells us how the beginning of the universe unfolded, but it doesn't really touch the question of whether the universe, uh, what made this a real universe and not just some hypothetical one that exists in, uh, as a mathematical possibility. Yet yeah, many uh, physicists who are um, atheists uh, would look to um, the, uh, the uh, strong proofs through the 20th century that our universe had a beginning as uh, defending <coughs> at least something close to a biblical view. Well, now that, now see, that I think, um, even though the Bible does say, in the beginning God created the heavens no, it's and the complicated earth, here, I would yeah. say beginning and creation are two ideas yeah, packed yeah. into that sentence. Right. Now, it is certainly true that historically, religious people, uh, Jewish, Jews, Christians, Muslims, have believed in a beginning, that the universe had a, a beginning in time, has a finite age. Whereas the ancient pagans who did not have a creator god, say Aristotle, thought the universe had always been around. And a lot of Eastern religions and, are similar. And, and modern atheists, materialists, have tended to prefer to believe that the universe had no beginning. And at a certain point, they seem to be backed up by modern science. If you went back to, say, the year 1900, sure. most of the indications from science were that the universe had always existed. The steady state model. Of the well, that was, that was a long time later. Yeah, but, but back in 1900, you could point to the conservation of energy. Uh, energy is neither created nor destroyed. Uh, chemists would say the number of atoms in a chemical reaction does not change. And so the natural thing to believe is that matter and energy had always existed and always would. And in Newtonian physics, time was conceived of as extending in both directions, into the past and the future, without limit, in the same way that space was unlimited in all directions. So science seemed to be pointing to a universe that had always existed. And the idea of a beginning in time began to be seen as a relic of outmoded religious superstition. But then a big shock came in the 20s 
when the Big Bang Theory was proposed. And now we actually, the weight of evidence uh, is very strongly in favor of the universe having had a beginning at some point a finite time ago. So that was a big, you might say, I would sort of say uh, historically, you might chalk that up as a, a win for <laughs> religion because certainly the non-religious people had expected the opposite. In fact, had tended to, if not ridicule, at least dismiss the idea of a beginning as unscientific. Uh, so I think that's, that's interesting. I don't think that's really the question of creation, but it is certainly interesting that the expectations of religious believers were fulfilled in that case.